pretty sure he went with, uh, Fang went with Olimar, so we got PS2 and Battlefield, and we go to Battlefield. Figured as much. Uh, TSK really has a personal preference for, uh, Battlefield, I mean, a PS2, so. And Olimar's, uh, matchup, uh, he's been, his recovery has become much better uh, in the last patch, where it went from a tether to the, uh, Look, cute little jetpack move, and that is the single cutest move in the entire game. And it is important to note him for the fact of the match because it puts Fang at a distinct advantage because it's cute and cuteness like triumphs over everything. Uh, I know Fang really has a personal preference to uh, what Pikmin you have. I think it's two blue, one yellow, and one red, or is it two red? I can't, can't exactly remember. Um, Get down, smash your seal up, but uh, thing stop. <coughs> so Fang really likes to kind of play a campy uh, Olimar, uh, similar to Brawl style, but unfortunately Olimar's so light that back air conversion by TSK was just enough to close up the stock. Good side step avoid the grab there, and that was uh, see both players hanging out in the shield. Uh, and I want to say all of more recovery is seems pretty difficult to sweet spot. And right now we see a really dominating ga uh, game one from TSK. And we can't put a pass bang to make a really good comeback here. Uh, it is entirely possible. Uh, we've seen some similar situations with CSK against Fang. And that was a really nice string there that uh, nearly closed out the stock. Well, I say nearly. It was uh, racked on quite a bit of percent. Basically, down smash at the ledge against Olimar is a really good tactic because this recovery is so hard to sweet spot. Uh, it puts him in a really bad position, and Fang can't really afford to take any sort of strong hit because he'll get killed, as you saw there. So a really good game. I keep saying really good. Uh, a nice showing there from TSK, and we're gonna see uh, what two stages he chooses to ban against Fang. I just looked at you. I'm worth a thousand words. So Fang, uh, yelling at me hurts my heart. Uh, you still see him stay as Olimar. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about this, but he does start off with a pretty good Pikmin lineup. Uh, he really wants his white Pikmin gone. Uh, they're really not that good for much. Uh, a lot of the white Pikmin uh, really are, do the most, I think they do the most pummel damage, and they do the uh, most thrown damage, but other than that, they have the weakest everything else. And we already see a starting uh, difference here, so it may have just been the stage. And we do see TSK saving Fang in the... So we can have a good match. He thinks about the stream more than he thinks about himself. I'm pretty sure that was a blue Pikmin. Uh, blue Pikmin have the strongest throws. Uh, so basically it gives Olimar a kill throw. That's <coughs> Some people argue that every character should have a kill throw. As we do see a, a good difference between uh, the way Fang's been recovering. Uh, he's been able to put himself in a better position every time he's recovered, and he hasn't been as punished as hard, because last game, it may have been the ledges on Battlefield, but he a lot of times he got punished right before he was able to snap through the ledge. He's also doing a good job of forcing TSK into uh, to approaching him, and TSK has been eating a lot of pick and damage. One of my favorite things about Olimar in this game, at least, is 
uh, his antenna lights up to the color of Pikmin he has, so you don't have to have a visual representation. And unfortunately, uh, Fang messing up his sweet spot there, so. Let me up this. Pikmin up smash. Uh, strongest smash in the game. Uh, red do the most damage, but purple has the most, the most knockback. So, uh, even if it... I think the only Pikmin I wouldn't have killed with was probably a white Pikmin. Uh, because all of them are so light, you really can't afford to take any extra damage, and that's the reason why. Uh, Fangs, it's really hard to sweet spot his uh, all more up the So, uh, Fang electing to camp off to the side. We'll play defensively, excuse me. And since uh, Fangs suicide or uh, FD, or, uh, CSK has had a good showing when uh, trying to keep control of this game, but it only takes one really good combo for uh, Alamar to come back. Nice down throw to uh, four there, and you'll see some uh, thing do something off to the side. He'll throw his Pikmin off the stage so he can pr try to get a better lineup. Didn't look like it would kill, but it did. So, uh, TSK takes it over Fang. Mm. So we may see a run back to FD, or, uh, we gotta see what he wants to ban. So even if Fang uh, does a good job in winning this match and the next match he still has to go against TS two of TSK's counterpicks, so that could prove to be difficult. And we're going to see a character switch here. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to stay as Olimar, and we're running back to Battlefield. Uh, maybe Fang feels like he has a better grasp of the matchup now, uh, and one of the character. Because the last match here did not go uh, very well. But so far, Fang is showing the... Uh, Night and day difference, really. That's why Smash is played in so many different games because uh, so many games because <laughs> Smash is a game about adaptation and uh, when two people uh, play each other, they're bound to like learn more about each other's play style and their habits. Uh, but these two people play each other quite a bit. Good up B conversion right there. But again, I'm not entirely too sure about the stage pick. Um, but Fang knows best, I assume. I don't know, maybe a weak uh, down throw to. Uh, it looks like TSK's out of down throw to fair percent, which is a good uh, kill tool for, for Olimar. But. Uh, Also, blue Pikmins have the most range uh, when it comes to their grabs, so they may be uh, grabbing in neutral is not the safest thing, but it is really good with Olimar when he has several blue Pikmin. And Fang do, does a good job of wiggling out of hit stone, and <coughs> it helps him uh, react a lot faster. He's good at melee and in PM, basically every Smash game.
too close. Then you co commentator. I'm trying to get a cone commentator, so it's just just not me again. And we see Fang misspacing his uppies just slightly again. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to snap to the ledge there. So this is going to be a very difficult comeback if comeback at all. We may see a quick trio from TSK. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. I think elected to get back to the stage, but uh, personal preference probably, or I'll ask him after the match and he'll let me know his thought process. And TSK just paid a lot of percent there, but at this point any trade is positive for him. <laughs> Nothing needs a good gimp, which is hard to do on the night. Or to rack up a lot of percent quickly. In which we may see, because he hasn't taken that much percent right here. Uh, and TSK is already up to 69, but a fair, and not fair, a uh, down air, a back air, a nair, or a lot of stuff at this point will kill. And there it is. And so we see a quick 3-0 there from TSK. Um, Actually, so I want to know why you elected to go back to Battlefield. Oh, because I was going to change my character, but I changed my mind and didn't care enough to fix the whole thing. Okay, so do you think game one was just a bad stage, or do you think 